show you how to disconnect the charcoal filter on the Predator 3500 watt generator. I see lots of stuff out there where people have issues where they siphon shut uh, and don't provide any fuel and die in the middle of the night or in, during the day or whatever. Problem is if you overfill these or if they get shaken at all, charcoal filter gets filled with fuel and then it makes it run rich and then it can't breathe correctly. So what you do is undo the screw here, undo the screw here and lift up on here and pull that out gently. You can see there's a couple of clips there that hold that in place. What you've got is the charcoal filter here. You've got two hoses. All you need to do is disconnect this one, disconnect this one. In fact, you probably don't even need to do this one, but I do anyway. Undo this one, undo this one, and then undo this clip. We can undo that clip first. Bear with me, I just have an iPhone. Also, I should mention on these that uh, we've tried plugging the valve, we've tried, or the hoses, we've tried um, like leaving the gas cap loose. Um, the only thing that worked correctly was to disconnect those hoses. Now, I mean, uh, drilling those holes in the air box isn't going to hurt anything, but it doesn't help your warranty or whatever else. But certainly plugging those holes doesn't do you any good. Um, the first year that I bought this one, which was the second year most of our friends had them, um, we went spent a whole week together camping, and it was the last night that we figured out uh, what the trick was. And again, we've done it to every generator you know, that we've warrantied or or whatever else um, since and we've had no issues whatsoever um, so I was making sure that that was known uh, and also none of us have ever done the spark plug I mean, a spark plug is a spark plug generally right? on an engine like this you're not going to see much of a difference running with an NGK I know there's going to be guys out there that, that say you need a better spark plug or something but uh, that's very rare that that would even be the case or that it would make it run better unless it was running rich um, by having these hoses hooked up and I guess that's the other thing to note too so with those hoses hooked up if you overfill or if you shake I mean these things rattle so if you even get them close to full they're going to leak uh, fuel into that tube some way or another or suck it in or, or whatever uh, and it causes this thing to run rich which is probably why we see some guys say well the spark plug needs changed or I ripped the spark arrestor off and it ran way better I, I've we have seen in as little as 24 hours the spark arrestor get plugged up real bad um well i think that time the the guy accidentally was running a lot of ethanol um you know, i don't run any ethanol in these things whatsoever um to help that or just with other issues too but um but at the very least um very very little ethanol uh and the tubes pulled off and the spark arrestor has made it quite a while thanks again okay, sorry for all the starts and stops i'm not normally a youtube guy uh, I watch a lot, but don't make any. I'm just tired of writing this all the time. But the other thing I like to do is uh, take the bag the instructions came in with the funnel. And you can stick that right inside that door. Oops, you can see. You can stick it you know, right inside that door along with the tool kit. Um, in the tool kit then is the... I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got the wiring and and all that stuff for the 12 volt you can stick that right in there and you've always got that screwdriver and funnel and everything that you need i've always had mine in here like that and never had an issue either thanks